Falcons. On the surface, she was having a great start to her Falcon career, but behind the scenes, she knew something wasn't quite right. I had sort of felt about halfway through the season that I was just not the same. Like, I didn't feel the same. I didn't feel the same on the court. I didn't feel the same off the court. There was something in the back of my head that was like, this isn't right anymore. So after two years in Bowling Green, she went to Robin Fralick and informed her that she'd be retiring from the sport that she has loved her entire life. We've come a long way with talking about mental health and especially in athletes, um, but I think there's still a long way we have to go. I always thought about it as I twist my ankle, I go to the doctor. I, there's no shame or stigma around that and I think it should be the same thing when you're dealing with mental health issues. Since March, there are five documented cases of NCAA athletes dying by suicide. The pressure of being a college athlete has never been greater, and Lewis understands how demanding it can be. I chose this challenging lifestyle. I mean, yes, I have the greatest opportunity of playing a sport I love and coming to school for free and traveling all these places, but mental health issues don't just go away because you're given this opportunity. We're not machines, you know, um, and our lifestyle, it can get to you. I mean, we're all humans. We just have a really cool opportunity to do something on a really high level. Lewis is hoping by sharing her story, others will understand that it's okay to put yourself first. It takes a lot of courage to step away some, from something that has been your whole identity. And so I just want anyone to know that if they're struggling and if they feel like this, like you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to be ashamed. It's people go through it. They're human. There's strength in getting through things and there's strength in saying goodbye to things. Lewis will be graduating in three years and she will remain on scholarship for her final year at BGSU. She also told me she will be at every single home game cheering on her teammates from the stands.